I can't find an everyday carry. Look at all this stuff. You know, I can't find an every, everyday carry. But what you can find is this. You can find this in your mailbox. This is a Titan titanium fillet knife. You can win this and it will be your last knife. This is it. I hope you've stayed for the entire project here because you're going to win this, the edge recovery system, a brochure, the cards, and I'll throw in a couple of my cards. It's all ready to go. I got it in the box and we're going to have a cutoff. Let's put a cutoff on it. Let's have a total cutoff at the end of March on March 31st. Alrighty, here we go. As I said, contest over on the uh, 31st. It is right now the 29th. And I don't think any of you are breaking your neck to get over here and get me a photograph. Here is the winner with a Bubba Blade. Looks like uh, whiting, um, some trout on a table, cleaning fish. That's the best we got and uh, the only photograph I received for the contest to win a Titan knife. This is it. I got one entry. None of y'all wanted a Titan knife, so y'all didn't want to play. I know I'm busy. I'm super busy. With the spring break and the Trump economy, it's through the roof. I'm turning people away every single day because I'm only one guy. But he says down here, and I don't know this individual's name, but he sent me this. I just spent 60 bucks, and this only, only used once has rust on the leading edge. That's unfortunate. And that handle is their big deal. For some reason, they think their handle is the greatest thing since, since sliced bread. Well, hello, subscribers. As you saw in this video, we had a winner of the Titan Titanium Never Rust Filet Knife. We had one contestant, one winner. He automatically gets it. I said the contest was going to be the end of the month. I'm going to be busy, so it's over right now. Nobody wanted to play. And you know why you didn't want to play? Because you didn't watch the end of the video. That clip that I just put up, you didn't watch the end. I know, that was a long video. It was probably, you know, published uh, on YouTube on a Friday or something. Because that's the worst day of the week. Friday, Saturdays, Sundays. Nobody watch, nobody sees anything. Um, so what it boiled down to is if you didn't watch the end of that video, you didn't get information about how to win the knife. Real simple. All you had to do was just send me a picture of your fillet knife and some fish that you were cleaning. I am a little discouraged. I can't say little. I'm really discouraged. And we probably won't be doing any big ticket items anymore. Nobody cares. So, um, I'll be shipping this out. I'll be emailing the winner and shipping this out when I get a chance sometime, maybe this week. I don't know. So, um, I've got a lot of videos sort of in the works. I'm really liking doing my new playlist, Tools of the Trade. I I got all kinds of ideas and things I could show you. Um, some things are, believe it or not, some cheaper things seem to be better than newfangled, brand new stuff. 
So I have those kind of videos I could do. Um, some new products. I'm going to try to get a new product one out. But either way, very discouraging. Um, everybody comments, you know, but you didn't all want, nobody watched the end of that video. That's what it was. It was a long video where I was talking about I couldn't find the right multi-tool or everyday carry pocket knife or whatever. And it turns out at the very end, I said, this is how you can win this. The very end of that video. So maybe it was my own fault, but either way, one person, one subscriber saw me mention in a comment where the comments are the meat and potatoes of every video. They really are. I'm, I read comments on other people's. I watch the video and I go through all the comments and see what people's reactions are. So what I did is um, I made a comment how nobody wanted to play. Nobody cared to just send, a, send me a, an emailed photograph. He probably didn't even pay attention. But then he saw the comment that I put, and then he hurried up and he sent me a photograph of his bubble blade there. So, uh, I don't know if I'll be doing any big ticket items anymore. We'll see. So, that's it. I'll be shipping this out when I get a chance and emailing the winner. So, here's the moral of the story. Sometimes... If you want to win probably an $80 value of a, of a flay knife that never rusts, you might want to watch the end of a video. All the way to the end. So, thanks for watching this if you did, because I'll be posting this up at the end of the week. And that's the worst time to ever pretty much publish a video on YouTube. So, either way, more is coming. Because I enjoy, do the, I enjoy doing them. And um, I always hope that everybody enjoys watching them. So, take care and uh, check my reports blog, which is always in the video description below, for some new photographs, and videos, and stuff of Big Black Drum. I'll be putting new photographs on my fishing reports blog here in about an hour. So, all right. Take care. See you on the water.